I'm gonna explain about the expenditure function and the Hessian demand functions. So the expenditure function is a minimum value function uh, in the sense that uh, it shows the uh, the minimum level of expenditure uh, to reach a certain uh, utility target. Uh, the the indirect utility function we discussed in an earlier video indirect utility function is uh, is a maximum value function so indirect utility function is a maximum value function because it shows the maximum level of utility uh, from uh, the given prices and the income level uh, whereas the expenditure function is a minimum value function that is it shows the minimum level of expenditure given the set of prices uh, to reach a certain level of utility so to derive the expenditure function uh, we can follow either the two-step procedure or we can derive it from the indirect utility function so this is the first method and this is the second method with its very short code. So uh, by using the two-step procedure uh, to derive the expenditure function, uh, we solve the dual consumer problem uh, that is the expenditure minimization problem. So see, this is EMP, expenditure minimization problem. So the problem is minimized by choosing x, uh, px. So the px is total expenditure, where p is a vector of prices and x is a vector of commodities, subject to the uh, utility constraint. So when we solve this dual problem, uh, we we get uh, the Hessian demand functions or the compensated demand functions as uh, x uh, x i x i yet as a function of p and u bar. So after after obtaining the values of x i, uh, we we substitute these values in the objective function which is p times x uh, and we will get the expenditure function so expenditure function which is a function of price and utility uh, is simply obtained by uh, substituting the value of x in this objective function from the solution of the expenditure minimization problem so we, we, will, we will explain this uh, with an example shortly uh, before that, uh, let us go to the second method, which is the shortcut method. Here, expenditure function is derived from the indirect utility function. So, so expenditure function, expenditure function is simply the inverse of, uh, simply the inverse of indirect utility function. So indirect utility function. So it is the inverse of indirect utility function and thus can be derived from the indirect utility function. So it can be derived by simply interchanging the role of M, interchanging the role of M and U in the uh, indirect utility function. So we replace M by uh, expenditure EPU bar uh, and solve for and solve for EPU bar and we get the uh, expenditure function so so let us uh, uh, explain these two methods with a simple example uh, let us take the uh, Cobb Douglas Cobb Douglas utility function Cobb Douglas utility function a simple case where utility x1 x2 is x1 times x2 
So, in an earlier video, uh, we know that we knew that uh, in case of Cobb Douglas utility function, uh, utility uh, function of two commodities, say uh, x1 to the power alpha, x2 to the power beta. So we knew that the uh, the um, solution to the utility maximization program UMP or the Marshall and demand functions is simply given by xi xi function of pm equals alpha over alpha plus beta times uh, w which is income or wealth of the consumer divided by the price of the commodity so the the the, the demand for first commodity x1 pm is given by alpha alpha in this case is 1 and beta in this case is 1 so this is simply w w over 2 p1 and x2 pm is w over 2 p2 so these are the martial in demand functions and the indirect usually function BPM can simply be obtained by substituting x1 and x2 in our utility function which gives us x1 times x2 which is w square over 4 p1 p2 so we will use this to derive our uh, expenditure function shortly uh, before that, uh, let us use the first method. Uh, the first method uses the expenditure minimization program EMP to derive the expenditure function. So the expenditure minimization program here is uh, minimized by choosing x1 and x2. Uh, P1 x1 plus P2 x2 subject to uh, x1 x2 equals u bar. So we can use uh, the Lagrangian multiplier principle to solve this problem. Mm. Uh, but for now, let us use the shortcut we know that the optimal condition uh, here also the marginal rate of substitution equal to the price ratio uh, so which gives which gives marginal rate of substitution is x2 over x1 equals p1 over p2 this gives x2 equals p1 over p2 times x1 so let us use this optimal condition with the utility constraint to derive the compensated demand functions. So if we substitute uh, the value of x2 in our constraint, our constraint is uh, x1 x2 equals to u bar so substituting the value of x2 gives x1 times p1 over p2 uh, times x1 is u bar so this gives that x1 square equals u bar times p2 over p1 and this gives us x1 equals uh, u bar 1 over 2, p2 1 over 2, and p1 negative 1 over 2. Uh, so this is nothing but the uh, Hickesian demand function or the compensated demand function for the first commodity 
uh, we express uh, this as x1 at which is the function of p and u bar is u power sorry u bar so this is u bar u bar 1 over 2 p 2 to the power 1 over 2 and p 1 to the power negative 1 by 2 now substitute this value in this uh, expression and we we get the uh, compensated demand for x2 x2 is simply p1 over p2 times x1 which is u bar power 1 by 2 p2 power 1 by 2 and p1 power negative 1 by 2 so this is x2 equals u bar 1 over 2 so this is p1 power 1 p1 power minus 1 by 2 is p1 1 by 2 so this is p2 1 by 2 minus 1 which is p2 minus 1 by 2 so this is the compensated demand function for the second commodity or the Hickesian demand function uh, we write it as x2 yes uh, p u bar it's uh, u bar 1 by 2 p 1 1 by 2 and p 2 negative 1 by 2 so this this two are our compensated demand functions so the compensated demand first compensated demand function is this one and the second compensated demand function is this one so now we we substitute the values of this uh, uh, demand functions in the objective function to get the expenditure function so now let us derive the expenditure function expenditure function e e p u bar is simply uh, p1 x1 plus p2 x2 so we substitute the value of x1 and x2 from here so this is p1 u bar 1 over 2 p2 1 over 2 p1 negative 1 over 2 plus p2 times the value of x2 which is u bar 1 over 2 uh, p1 1 over 2 and p2 negative 1 over 2 so uh, when we simplify this we get the expenditure function in simple form as e e p u bar e p u bar equals so this becomes u bar 1 over 2 p1 uh, sorry p2 p2 uh, 1 over 2 so p1 power 1 p1 power negative 1 by 2 is p1 1 over 2 so we get the same expression here to u bar 1 over 2 u bar 1 over 2 p1 1 over 2 and p2 1 over 2 so therefore the expenditure function is p e p u bar is 2 times u bar 1 over 2 p1 1 over 2 and p2 1 over 2 so this is our expenditure function which shows the minimum expenditure that is required to get the utility u bar given the prices p1 and p2 uh, now let us use the second method to derive this expenditure function so in the second method we we 
argued that the expenditure function can be derived from the indirect utility function uh, uh, in a very simple way so our our indirect utility function which uh, we have derived here our indirect utility function is so our indirect utility function is uh, VPM VPM sorry this must be W not M because we have denoted wealth or income by W this must be W so BPW equals uh, W square uh, over 4P1 P2 so we we use the identity relation V P E P U bar equals to U bar so what we do is uh, instead of w we substitute w by e p u bar and we equate this to u bar so this is simply this is simply uh, instead of w so we write e p u bar so square uh, over 4 p1 p2 and we equate this to u bar so so again what we just do is we we write ep ep u bar instead of w and we equate this to u bar and we solve this equation for ep u bar So now we get uh, now we get uh, just uh, e p u bar square equals to u bar for p1 p2 so therefore e p1 sorry e p u bar equals so this is 2 u bar 1 over 2 P1 1 over 2 and P2 1 over 2. So this expenditure function is same same as this expenditure function which we derived a few minutes ago. So in this way uh, two approaches can be I used to derive the expenditure function what uh, one is to derive the vacation demand functions and then substitute those values and another one is uh, the indirect utility function so if we have already calculated the indirect utility function it will be easier to derive the expenditure function from uh, indirect utility function in just few steps so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for watching more videos in the future.